All right, this will be my tutorial on how to mine Cubic on your phone. Uh, this is my main phone. First, you're going to go to Chrome. And you are going to get F-Droid. Just Google F-Droid, and it will bring you to this page. Uh, you're going to download F-Droid. Um, I'll have links to uh, things down below, so don't worry. Uh, we'll open. We'll install. We'll open, uh, don't allow, we don't really care. And now it's got to update its repository. And when that's done, I'll be back. Okay, now the repository is downloaded. We are going to get Termux. And you want Termux emulator with packages and you're gonna download that. And while that's downloading, you are going to go into your Play Store and you're going to go QR Gamma. And you're going to install this one. The Gamma Play seems to be my, the best working QR scanner there is. So we'll download that. Nice. Okay, it's installed. Uh, we'll check on our. Termux here. Um, I will be back when Termux is downloaded. All right, Termux is downloaded. I've never had Termux take that long to download. I'm going to cut out that whole downloading section, but you're going to have to allow permissions from AppDroid to install. So now we're installing Termux. Go back and we're going to open. And we're going to hit allow. And if Termux does not show up here, you're gonna drag down and you're gonna go to your notification settings and you're gonna go all the way down to Termux and you're just gonna turn it off, turn it back on again. And then you're gonna close that, close that, close that, close that. And it should pop up right there. And that's important because you can drag down and you can acquire wake lock. And acquire wake lock allows you to mine while your screen is turned off. Okay, now we are gonna go to our QR code scanner and we're gonna scan this QR code. Okay, so here's our QR code that we have uh, downloaded with all our commands. And uh, yeah, let's just copy and paste the first command here. And we're gonna paste that into Termux. And we're gonna hit enter. And we're going to hit Y for every single one of these options. And on to the next step. Uh, we're going to package install the distros. So this will give us a list of different types of Linux we can use. So we'll do that. Uh, hit Y. And then we can go to the next one. Which is pROOT distro install Ubuntu. And we're going to copy and paste that in there. Right on. And we're going to do the next one here. And this will actually bring us into Ubuntu. 
Row paste. And see now that we're root at local local host, we are now in Ubuntu. Now that we are in Ubuntu, I don't know what this command does, but it every <laughs> it seems like it's necessary or okay, cool. We did that. Now we are gonna do app update and we're just going to do apt upgrade i don't know why <laughs> Um, the instructions doesn't say to do apt upgrade when it says apt update. So yeah, we're just gonna do let it do its thing. Cool. You probably don't have to do that apt upgrade, but. There's no point of doing apt update if you don't do apt upgrade after. And now we're going to do apt install wget. And this will allow us to get wget. You're going to hit Y. And then on to our next one. And this is the actual miner itself. We're going to copy. And we are going to put that miner in. And that miner is now downloaded. And we're going to do the C CH mod. This one right here. We're going to paste that in. Next, we are going to copy and paste this. And I don't know where you keep your mining address, but I will go get mine. So we're going to take our arrows here and we are going to get rid of all the way up until the bracket. I'll go get go get my address. You go get go go get you go get your address and then we'll meet back. Okay, I got my address here. And um before before you hit enter, you are going to copy this entire thing right here. And you are going to put it into a notes folder. So, uh, my, or you're going to email it to yourself, or you're going to, you know, just somewhere you can access it for a later um, step. Okay, now that we have that in, let's see if we start mining. And yes, we are now mining. Okay, I had a step in there to show you your miners, but my miner is so freaking slow right now. <laughs> um, it's really bogging down my phone, so I'm not even able to get on there. So I had to restart my phone because the miner really bogged down my phone and I wasn't able to do anything <laughs> without it being terribly slow. But I was going to show you this here, um, this website, uh, get rid of the brackets and put your address in and it's very, very primitive looking because it's very, very new. 
but it will show you the workers that you have working. Okay, so now let's go back and we're gonna open up Termux. We're gonna slide down like always. And we are gonna acquire wake lock. Uh, next, we're gonna go nano. And this is just gonna be, I'm just making it easier for you to open up uh, Ubuntu. So we're gonna go like this. And then you're gonna go back. And then you're gonna copy this one right here. So you're gonna go copy. Paste. And then you're gonna hit Control. O. And then you're gonna hit Enter. And then you're going to hit control X. Next, you're going to do this one. Oh my goodness gracious. You're going to copy this. And this will make uh, it executable. So if I go period forward slash a bun two dot sh, it will bring me into a bun two. Now for our next step, uh, we are gonna want to start our miner. So we are gonna go nano, and then we're gonna go start dot sh. So we're going to go like this. And then we are going to go like here. And remember when I told you to copy and paste uh, this line here? Well, so you're going to copy. But you're going to copy yours from your notes page. I, I didn't copy mine from my notes page. So I will be back when I have my address in. So we got that in there. So we go control O, enter, and then you hit enter, and then control X. Now you're gonna do, you can copy and paste it, but I'm just gonna type it in. Uh, C mod plus X start dot sh and now if I do period forward slash start dos dos dot sh I should be mining and yeah so now if we go like this let's uh exit termux here We're going to Termux. We go forward slash Ubuntu dot sh. That brings us into Ubuntu, and then we go forward slash start dot sh. And we are mining. And that is how I mine. Um, I just learned this yesterday, so I might not be able to answer a lot of questions, but I know it is highly profitable. I am pretty sure it is doubly profitable than Varus at the moment. So yeah, um, that was my tutorial on Cubic. And I'm sorry if it was a mess. Uh, a lot of a lot of errors and issues came up. And if you found this tutorial useful, give it a like and subscribe. And uh, there will be more.